In 2016, I was appointed and asked by uh, the president of NAR to serve as his vice president, one of the two appointed positions on the NAR leadership team. We accomplished so much that year in 2016 uh, to remove barriers to housing, to help remove barriers to business, that I served in 2017 as the 2017 Region 5 vice president. That year, we had major disasters in just about every state and even evacuations in some. And I realized how the realtor family pulled together and the difference we made in the lives of our members, that uh, we're a family, we're a realtor family. And when I thought about the future, um, I thought about what I'd learned in my life lessons as a leader. My grandmother, she taught me to I'll never forget where you come from. She taught me, always remember your true north. My father, he taught me to have the heart of a servant. And my mother, she taught me the value of people. She taught me that words are powerful, they can hurt and they can heal. And I realized that these were leadership traits that we needed to carry forward within our association. And at the National Association of Realtors, many times our members are hurting, they don't feel heard, they don't feel important. And for me, it was an opportunity to bring a message for that every member matters. And that's when I decided that I wanted to run because our members deserve that. Every single day of my life, I wake up and I put the realtor the realtor badge on, the realtor uh, logo on, and it has been an honor to be able to do that my entire adult life. We have a family business and my kids are involved, and I want them to be able to put that realtor badge on every single day for another 37 years. So for me, it is about protecting the industry, keeping the realtor core and relevant to the transaction, and bringing the tools of tomorrow to our members.